We are following new details of a public safety issue at IMPD East District Roll Call. It involves fire code violations and building code violations and Metro Police employees at risk. And the situation also raises questions about government oversight of the ongoing renovation of the facility. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us now with details. Jack. Well, Todd, the fire sprinkler system installed in East District Roll Call was never approved, and so far it's failed to work. And Metro Police and civilian employees were moved into the building with a sprinkler system that, at best, offers nothing more than a false sense of security. At East District Roll Call, a firefighter remains on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's because the fire sprinkler system in the building is untested, and several months after it was installed, we'll still not send an alarm to an outside security company or fire dispatch. According to city codes, the contractor is required to submit a plan before construction begins and the building is occupied. In most cases, our plan review, they, they do review them, um, um, but for whatever reason, uh, I don't think our plan reviewer had a chance to see those plans. Okay, so why didn't you guys see those plans? I'm um, not for sure. This afternoon, the building contractor was summoned to a meeting with fire and code enforcement officials for a review of violations. City officials also admit they hadn't seen the contractor's plan until today. All I know is that I saw the plans today. Okay, so they were basically submitted today, the plans that basically should have been submitted last year, correct? The plans that I saw today were the ones, like I said, they were, the, I saw the plans today. Fire and code enforcement will review the fire suppression plans to see if the design fits the building. They will then test the system to determine if the sprinklers provide an effective level of protection. The last thing we want to do uh, for the most part is evacuate the building because now we've got to relocate all those uh, East District and all that. And so that will be uh, a safety issue that we got to deal with. For now, the building contractor is paying the $35 an hour cost of having a firefighter keep watch on the building that houses East District and the Regional Operations Center. But in January, the taxpayers will begin paying rent of $87,000 a month for the next 25 years. And nine months after it moved employees into the building, city officials hope to begin testing the sprinkler system sometime next week. Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.